Janome. Hey everyone, it's Janome Man, aka Michael Smith, and I'm back in my classroom at the Janome Sewing and Learning Center to show you just how quick and easy it is to update your fabulous Janome CM17 from version 1.00 to version 1.01. You may be wondering, what's this update all about? Very simple, and again, all the instructions are here on the Genome Global site. So we're gonna type in our browser, Genome Global site, and click to be taken to, ah, the brand new beautiful Genome Global site. Here's our fabulous Continental M17, and we're gonna scroll down so it says the Continental M17 version 1.01 .01 program update. We can click on that. And then that's going to take us to this page again, version 1.01 .01 update. Further information, click on that. Janome really does give us everything we need. So we need to read this very carefully. And what is this going to do? It's going to add buttons on our LCD screen that allows us to move that hoop socket of the embroidery unit to the center position while the carriage is returned to the left side. Now again, this is only if we really want to repackage that carriage in the original box with the original styrofoam. If you're never going to do that, you really don't have to do this update, but it is nice to keep your machines update as they come along. So the main thing is there's lots of instructions here, some PDFs forms like installation instructions, very good click. Now I personally love to print these all out because I really don't like reading on a computer screen. Uh, you can print them out if you wish, or if not, then again, you can see them here. So the uh, installation instructions PDF is there. How to unpack a zip file. The PDF, again, very important to read this over. And again, step-by-step -step instructions, exactly what to do how to do it, I find not unzipping the files is generally where people get into trouble. They download the update, but they don't unzip the file first. So that's what prevents them from updating it properly. Uh, if you need to format your uh, USB flash drive, again, methods for formatting your USB flash drive are here. And I find which uh, USB drive to use. I generally like to stick to like a 16 gigabyte or under. You really don't need anything really big. It's nice to have a brand new USB flash drive, one that does not have a lot of information on it, doesn't have a lot of files on it. It'll just make it read that much quicker. So just keep it nice and small and nice and simple. So all of those instructions are there in those PDF forms. Definitely read them out. Again, I like printing them out so that way like here when I know I have downloaded the file to my PC check then I've opened it check <laughs> double checked it check so that way we know we've got everything so that's just me personally so once we have read all of this very important we're going to click check this box to indicate that you have read the instructions and now we can access that download button once we click download, it's going to pop up on our screen here and it's downloading that zip file. It takes a couple of minutes, just let it do its thing. Once it's downloaded, then we can open the update, extract the files onto our computer, and then we can copy them onto the USB flash drive. So it doesn't really take that long, just let it do its thing. So once our download has uh, finished here, we're gonna open the file. And here we are, then we have a little file folder update for the CM17. And very importantly, when we click on that, we're going to, oops, click on that. And then, oh yes, we see all these other PDF forms here with the instructions that are in uh, multiple languages. And it's a uh, PDF number two that is actually the English version. Everything, ooh, let me get them all here. There we go. So again, I print everything out. So then it is, again, system update version. It's the second selection in is the English version. Then 
that gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this update. Again, you can print them out if you wish. Uh, I always love to. Now, very importantly, again, what people uh, get into trouble with is they forget to extract all. So from that file folder, we want to extract all. And then where do you want these uh, files to live? You know, you can select which folder. Uh, you can even create a new folder if you wish here on your computer. Uh, again, you can select browse and decide where do you want them to be. So again, you can create a new folder, put them in your downloads folder, wherever you wish. So once you select the folder, then, uh, then you can select folder and then here I created a new folder actually that says CM17 update. So then I know that's where it's going to go. I can easily find it. Then we're going to extract. So I've already done this, so I can just skip this file. But we're going to extract it. Boom, it doesn't take long at all. And then there, there is uh, my files have all been extracted. Now I'm going to go in, select them all, and we can copy, we can right click, or again, we can just drag. Here's all that update going to the USB flash drive that's inserted in the side of my laptop. It is called Kingston E. So then I'm just going to drop it into Kingston E. And again, I've already done this. So this is where I'm going to just skip those files. And then boom, it doesn't take long at all. Boo, it's on my USB stick. So then now, very importantly, we're going to go down here on my uh, laptop at the very bottom. I have a little arrow that I click and it opens up another window and right there, safely remove hardware and eject media. We definitely want to click that and then eject data transfer here on the USB flash drive. And then there I get a message saying, now I can safely remove that flash drive. We do not want to pull out these flash drives from our computer directly. Again, we want to, there we go. We just want to pull that out once we get that message. Uh, because if we remove this without safely closing it all first, this is how we can corrupt the files on the USB flash drive. And when we go to put it in our machine, that's when we can end up in trouble. So make sure that again, all of those um, instructions are written down in the PDFs. So again, I encourage you all to print them out if you wish, or again, if they're on your computer, just make sure you go through step by step and you've got everything done. So then you know you're ready to now take this USB flash drive and insert it into the machine. Now I always recommend, again, printing out these instructions that were included with the update. Uh, I personally like to just uh, read off a piece of paper instead of always having to look up at the computer screen. And this way you can really go step by step and click off everything that you have done. So the first thing that they're suggesting to do is that you turn on your machine and you see what version it is. Now we know the Continental M17 is going to be at version 1.00 because it's a brand new machine. When we click it on and then our big LCD screen, oh see there it says version 1.00, then that's an easy way to see what version our machine is. We know again right now it's version 1.00 but again, maybe down the road, then if we've upgraded our machine, or again, if you're buying a machine secondhand and you don't know what uh, version it is, you can always just switch on the machine and find out what version it is. So very simple to do. But I'm now going to switch off the machine and I'm getting ready to install the update and I'm going to follow the instructions very carefully again as written out. So yes, we're going to turn the machine off. We're going to put the USB flash drive into one of the two ports at the side of the CM17. So we're going to hold the lock stitch button and the needle up down button, which is up here, simultaneously when we switch the machine on. So we're pressing the needle up and down button and the lock stitch button, we're pressing those simultaneously. Then we're reaching around to switch on the machine. 
We're going to hold those buttons down for about three seconds and our screen should come up here green. Now we can remove our fingers because oh, we see, yes, this color bar is on our big LCD screen. The middle LCD screen says system update. So now we know this uh, color screen is just going to uh, finish and do its thing. It says update one slash four and we just wait around uh, for it to complete. Now the main thing is we don't want to remove that USB stick. We don't want to turn off our machine and ultimately if things as we review our instructions here and if things don't quite work the way we expected if our screen uh, just shows green and we don't see this color bar here it actually suggests that, oh, we can go to page number three. This is why, again, I love to print these out. We can go to page number three uh, for troubleshooting. So if our screen stays green and nothing happens, this little color bar doesn't come on, then it tells us here, okay, go ahead, turn off your machine, remove your USB stick then turn your machine back on. If your machine comes back on and the regular LCD screen pops up, your regular ready to sew, utility stitch, all of that comes up, then you know something happened where you didn't load that update onto your USB stick correctly. So then you need to go back and review those steps of the update wasn't loaded to the USB stick so that means go back to your computer and review those steps on about uh, downloading that update to the USB stick. Then try it again one more time, bring it back to the machine, plug it into one of the USB flash drives at the side here. Again, uh, turn off the machine and make sure that you again press the needle up down and the lock stitch button. Hold for your three seconds and then if you have downloaded that uh, update to your USB stick correctly, then you will receive this uh, color bar here. If not, again, go back to those steps and review. Usually it's uh, people did not unzip the file first to then get the update. You need to unzip the file on your computer, save it to your computer, and then copy those files to your USB flash drive. And it takes a couple of minutes, but ta-da, our machine has been updated. Very importantly, we see finish. So now we can turn off the machine. It's all finished. Yay. And then we can remove the USB flash drive. Now, I always like to insert the USB flash drive and take it out if I'm transferring stitches with Stitch Composer software or whichever. I always like to turn off the machine uh, when I'm inserting the stick or when I'm taking it out. So then now, ooh, the moment of truth, we turn the machine back on and then we should see our LCD screen. Look, it's version 1.01. .01. So we know, yes, that update has mm -hmm. been successful. We can ultimately now go back to our computer, go back to the USB stick and delete that update. We no longer need it. The machine is fine. So I believe we're going to find, this is a first for me too, I think we're going to find that new icon here in the functions menu. So, oh, look, yes, we hit the functions menu up at the top. It's that three little lines. And then, yes, we have a new icon here that is going to bring that hoop socket into the center position. So then again, if we remove the embroidery carriage and want to package it in the original box with the original styrofoam inserts, this update will move that hoop socket to the center position. So I will move the camera so we can see this in action. We're going to select that icon. The hoop is going to move. Yes, boom. There, that little hoop socket right there in the center. Now we could switch the machine off and take off the embroidery carriage, package it in the original box with the original styrofoam, and we're good to go. So that is the fabulous update to the fabulous Continental 
CM17 uh, to version 1.01. .01. Happy sewing! Thank you.